ஸ்ரீ குரு பியோம் நமக திஸ் இஸ் ஹேமலதா ஃப்ரம் பொன் வித்யாசிரம் இன் டுடே செஷன் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு லேர்ன் சாப்டர் ஒன் ஃப்ரம் ஜியாகிரஃபி லெசன் நேம் த அர்த் இன் த சோலார் சிஸ்டம் ஹவ் வண்டர்ஃபுல் இட் இஸ் டு வாட்ச் த ஸ்கை ஆஃப்டர் சன்செட் ஒன் வுட் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் நோட்டிஸ் ஒன் ஆர் டூ பிரைட் டாட்ஸ் ஷைனிங் இன் த ஸ்கை சூன் you would see the number increasing you cannot count them any more the whole sky is filled with tiny shining objects some are bright others dim it seems as if the sky is studded with diamonds they all appear to be twinkling but if you look at them carefully you will notice that some of them do not twinkle as others do they simply glow without any flicker just as the moon shines since ancient times people have looked since ancient times people have looked at the shining objects in the sky and wondered why do some of them twinkle what holds them up there why is the sun visible only during the day while at night we see numerous dots of light why do we see the moon increasing and decreasing in size all objects which we see in the sky are called heavenly bodies or celestial bodies the heavenly bodies include the stars planets satellites asteroids comets and meteors which we are going to see in this lesson later our earth is also a heavenly body the word universe stands for everything that exists in space nobody knows exactly how the universe was formed it probably originated about 2000 crore years ago due to the big bang it is difficult to understand the vastness of the universe the universe has countless number of galaxies our sun and all the stars that you see in the night sky belong to a galaxy it is called the milky way galaxy or the akash ganga this galaxy has about 10000 crore stars It is difficult to derive a unit for measuring the distances between various heavenly bodies in the universe as they are very far from each other. Astronomers do not use the ordinary units of measurement such as miles or kilometers. Instead, they normally use a time of measurement called the light year. The stars are huge bodies made up of very hot gases. They have their own heat and light. Therefore, they twinkle at night. They look very small as they are very far away from us. The stars are formed from the clouds of gas and dust in space which is called nebula. It can be visible if there are stars in or near it the sun is also a star it looks big as it is very close to the earth the nearest star to the earth apart from the sun is proxima centauri it is more than 4.24 light years away along with these bright objects you may also see the moon on most of the days it may however appear at different times in different shapes and at different positions you can see the full moon only once in about a month's time it is full moon night or purnima a fortnight later that means a fortnight is equal to 15 days you cannot see it at all it is a new moon night or amavasya on this day 
you can watch the night sky best provided it is a clear night do you wonder why can't we see the moon and all those bright tiny objects during daytime it is because the very bright light of the sun does not allow us to use to see all these bright objects of the night sky so during the day the stars are still there you just can't see them because the sky is so bright for example it is a lot easier to see the glow of a candle in the dark than in the light it is always hard to sense small changes to something that is already big to start with for example in a noisy room you probably can't hear a dripping faucet but when everything else is quiet then you can hear the drip even though the dripping hasn't gotten any louder it's just easier to hear something soft in a silent background than it is to hear something soft in a noisy background in the same way it's easier to see the dim starlight with a dark background than it is to see the same dim starlight on a bright background the reason we can't see the stars during the night is also because when the sun is up it is so much brighter than the stars so that our eyes can't pick them out of the sky you might think that you could see stars during the day if you looked away from the sun but the sun's light is spread out all over the sky by our atmosphere which is part of the reason why the sky is blue during the day it's clear at night countless twinkling stars in the night sky are similar to the sun but we know we do not feel their heat or light and they look so tiny because they are very very far from us you must have noticed that all objects look smaller when seen from a distance how small an aeroplane looks when it is flying at a great height while watching the night sky you may notice various patterns formed by different groups of stars these are called constellations ursa major or big bear is one such constellation constellations <clears throat> the constellations are group of bright stars in the sky the people of ancient civilizations attributed figures of animals people and mythical beasts to these groups in ancient days the constellations were believed to influence the daily life of people on earth the constellations were used as a guide for planting and harvesting crops and slaughtering animals the most easily recognizable constellation is the sapta rishi which is a group of seven stars in ancient times people used to find the north direction with the help of stars the north star indicates the north direction it is also called the pole star it always remains in the same position in the sky we can locate the position of the pole star with the help of the saptarishi if you see at this image you will notice that if an imaginary line is drawn joining the pointer stars and extended further it will point to the pole star some celestial bodies do not have their 
own heat and light they are lit by the lights of the stars such bodies are called planets the word planet comes from the greek word planetai which means wanderers the earth on which we live is a planet it gets all its heat and light from the sun which is our nearest star if we look at the earth from a great distance say the moon it will appear to be shining just as the moon the moon that we see in the sky is a satellite it is a companion of our earth and moves around it like our earth there are eight other planets that get heat and light from the sun some of them have their moons too now we will study about our solar system the family of the sun is known as the solar system it consists of the sun eight planets about 100 known satellites like the moon and asteroids meteors and comets the solar system is a part of the milky way galaxy it is about 27000 light years away from the center of the milky way galaxy the solar system is about 470 crore years old and is about 1200 crore kilometer wide the sun the sun is the center of the solar system it is huge and made up of extremely hot gases it provides the pulling force that binds the solar system the sun is the ultimate source of heat and light for the solar system but the tremendous heat is not felt so much by us because despite being our nearest star it is far away from us the sun is about 150 million kilometer away from the earth how does we named it as sun sol in roman mythology is the sun god solar means related to the sun the family of the sun is therefore called the solar system the sun is the largest member of the solar system and is located at its center the diameter of the sun is about 109 times greater than the diameter of the earth the sun is the main source of heat and light for all forms of life on earth that is why ancient people always worshiped the sun as god the sun is at an average distance of about 15 crore kilometer from the earth the brilliant disk of the sun that is seen from the earth is called the photosphere the temperature at the surface of the sun is about 6000 degree celsius while at the center of the sun it is about 1 crore 50 lakh degree celsius the light from the sun traveling at a speed of 3 lakh kilometer per second takes about 8 minute and 20 seconds to reach the surface of the earth the gravitational pull of the sun keeps all the members of the solar system together in next session we will study about our earth and other planets of the solar system and the moon which is the natural satellite and asteroids and meteorites